And as I just told you, I learned something. I've known you guys for a long time because at ABC News we used to use you to stream. Yeah. I didn't know where the name came from, and it's Hawaiian. That's right. It means you're intelligent and clever. Yeah, in Hawaii, if somebody does something cool or clever, you say, very Akamai. Yeah, well, there you go. You're Akamai. So congratulations on the, on the, on the results, uh, which were encouraging. You had a little bit of a nudge from Elliott Management, as I understand it. I think we have a very constructive relationship with Elliott Management and uh, pretty well aligned on goals. Uh, and as we do actually with all our major shareholders, we really value their input and have a frequent dialogue. Where are you going next? I mean, what are you projecting in terms of growth, in terms of revenue, as well as your margins? Yeah, we were very pleased with the first quarter. We were, revenue grew 11 percent, and uh, the bottom line, EPS, grew 22 percent. And as we look forward to Q2 and the rest of the year, we see uh, expanding margins, uh, which is really great to see, and continued revenue growth, really led by our security solutions. They're up 36% year over year and uh, really a very exciting business. Well, that's interesting because I think of you in terms of media, but you have a cybersecurity business. How big a percentage of your overall business is the security part? Yeah, security is not something a lot of people see. They see the sporting events online and the videos we do and they think of Akamai that way. But security now is almost a quarter of our revenue. And when it's growing at 36% year over year, with you know, keeps that up in a few years, it'll be a bigger business maybe than even media. So your margins have been pretty robust on the media side. Yeah. How do they compare with the margins on the security side? I think in the long run, security margins are even higher. Uh, you know, media, there's a lot of cost to serve all those videos. With security, it's a, a different kind of setup. It's filtering out the bad traffic, stopping the attacks. Really exciting technology we deployed now to stop account takeovers. Uh, you know, I was speaking with an exec of one of the world's largest banks you know, a couple of weeks ago, and they used to lose 8,000 accounts a month because mm -hmm. the the bad guys took them over and took the money away with fraud. They're down to one or two uh, because of the new one technology. One or two thousand or one or two? One or two. You know, basically eliminated <laughs> the account takeover that was happening online. Wow, that's stunning. Uh, on the media side, as you look forward to growth there, mm -hmm. is that because the overall size is growing of streaming or how much of it is market share? Where, where are you in market share? Are you gaining or losing? We're gaining market share. Uh, our traffic is growing at a rate much higher than the market. More people are watching uh, online. That helps. Uh, and also people are watching at higher quality levels. Uh, you know, you don't think about it, but as you get a better quality picture, that takes a lot more bits per second of traffic to produce that picture. Let's take a macro view because it's jobs day tomorrow. How many people do you expect to hire this year? Uh, Akamai is growing. We have over 7,000 people, and I think you could expect to see us grow by several hundred more this year. Uh, so we continuing as a growth company. Do you have to pay up for those workers? Oh sure, no, you got to you got to pay, and we, you know, we're after those. But how hot, what I'm trying to get at is how hard it is to find those few hundred workers, and you have to pay up more than you would have to do it. You know, uh, we're very fortunate in that we really are after the smartest people out there, and because of our employee base, uh, they tend to attract those people. We're doing very cool stuff. Uh, you know, we are delivering most of the media you see online. We are defending the world's major banks and commerce companies against takeover and fraud. Uh, you know, we're making the apps you use fast. We're doing cool stuff, and that helps us attract the best talent. So how many of those people are going to be programmers as a practical matter, or I'd scientists say the, of some sort? Yeah, the majority of the company is technically oriented. Uh, so there's, you know, there's the development, there's the technical support for our customers. You know, staying ahead of all the attacks and, you know, everything right. that's going on in technology requires a very strong technical workforce. Can you find enough people here in the United States, or, or are you one of the technical, technology companies that really needs to have some immigration, some people come over? You know, I think immigration is important for the country. Uh, we do are able to attract, you know, the talent we need. And also we hire uh, overseas. We run a global business, so we hire people that are smart in technology all around the globe. What are your unit labor costs looking like for this year? I'd say, you know, our costs are fairly steady, maybe a little bit, little bit higher year over year, but that's to be expected, I think. So you're not seeing a lot of wage pressure? We're in a pretty good position when it comes to hiring the talent that we want. What's your biggest concern? So what keeps you up at night? You know, it's an incredibly fast-moving landscape. In terms of security, you've got giant entities, nations, organized crime, political hacktivism. They're spending a lot of money and they're very motivated and we got to stay ahead of them. Uh, so it's just execution, continuing to develop new capabilities, getting them into the market successfully and staying ahead.